Now this is interesting. So your girl Remy Ma from Love & Hip Hop New York Season 7 put out the disc record to Nicki Minaj just a few days ago or so. It's called Sheether as most of you know by now. For those that have not heard the record you need to, <laughs> need to go listen to it. It was brutal. It was some Mortal Kombat fatality type stuff. She said toasty and just burnt that girl. Just like in the video game Mortal Kombat. Anyways, the point is this man, it was amazing. It was one of the best disc records I've heard in a very long time. No, forget that. It was one of the best disc records in hip hop history. Better than Nas's Ether. I kid you not. I don't care what anybody says it was better than Nas's Ether. I might have to make a separate video about that. Breaking down bar for bar how Remy outspit Nas. I don't care who hates on me when I when I do that video either. But I just had to point something out. Remy posted the song on her SoundCloud page. When I went to go see how like how well the song was doing, I wanted to see, you know, since it's been a few days, how many listens that she got, like how many times people played the song. Man, the damn thing isn't even up there. It's been removed. And her Instagram account set to private. What in the world is going on? Did the record label, the the distributor, the fat Joe, who, 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 who called this? Like, what is going on? Did Pap say, "Hey, Rim, what you should do is delete the song and make your page private, baby. Watch this. Then we gonna like, did he come up with some scheme or something? Like, what what are they scheming on? Let me tell you something. The fact that something so weird like that would happen, it lets me know that something else may be a brewing." There may be a new record coming, which I hope not because she already killed Nicki Minaj and then desecrated her corpse. I mean, that shit was brutal. And that's illegal to desecrate a corpse. You're not supposed to abuse a dead body. I, I mean, she was over there poking Nicki with a stick. Like, you know the half is dead. Why are you? Man, this is really something else. All I know is this. The song was deleted. Instagram page made private. Something's up. Either somebody from the label said, look, you got to do this. Or management. Or Joe or Pat. Or her conscious. Maybe what that's what it probably was. Remy's conscious has gotten to her. Because she got away with the murder. Everybody knows who did it. I mean, she hit your girl Nikki with mad headshots. She didn't even turn her into a bowling ball. She didn't hit her with three shots to the head. No, she hit her with so many shots to the head, she turned her whole head to soup. So, psh, bullet soup. But anyways, why do y'all think that Remy made her page private? And why do you think that song was deleted? Somebody, somebody give me some sort of insight into why something like this would happen. I'm thinking maybe something bigger is brewing. Or maybe her conscience got to her because... The way that she killed that girl was honestly just sickening. It was like watching a scary movie. It was a horror film. I know a lot of y'all are like, yeah, it was a horror film because Nikki's a whore. No, no, I'm not going to go there. I meant like a scary movie. So don't speak ill of the dead. You know, she died the same way her ex-boyfriend Meek Mill died in a battle. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm merely an asshole with a microphone. Let me know what you think about it all below. B sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more follow me on twitter meat magazine meat magazine 7 google plus meat magazine blog and instagram hopefully my girl remy will come back for loving hip-hop new york season eight now that would be tight meat magazine